Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Steelers urged to turn to AFC competitor for WR2 solution. Since the Pittsburgh Steelers traded Deontay Johnson, there have been plenty of names brought up as potential options to replace him. Tyler Boyd is the top free agent option available right now. The Steelers were previously believed to be interested, but landing him has been called a long shot. Tyler Lockett was recently brought up as an option because of his ties to Russell Wilson. Cortland Sutton's name has come up for the same reason. There are also numerous draft options the Steelers could look at. Now there's a new name that has been introduced to the conversation. Steelers Nation's Braden Boyles believes the Steelers should look at Las Vegas Raiders receiver Jacoby Myers as a potential trade target to replace Johnson. After going undrafted in 2019, Myers couldn't have asked for a better situation than the one he ended up in. He signed with the Patriots to join a team that had Tom Brady at QB and very few established pass catchers. As a rookie, Myers made 26 catches for 359 yards. Then his situation stopped being so appealing. Brady left to join the Buccaneers and he was replaced by a declining Cam Newton. In his second NFL season, Myers led a bad passing attack for the Pats with 59 catches for 729 yards. He didn't catch a touchdown pass that season, but he did throw two of the team's 12 touchdown passes. The following year, the situation got a bit better. The team drafted Mac Jones to play QB and he made the Pro Bowl as a rookie. With him under center, Myers caught 83 passes for 866 yards and finally found the end zone for the first time in his career. The next season, the Patriots' offense went downhill as the team decided not to replace Josh McDaniels as their offensive coordinator when he left to become the head coach of the Raiders. Despite the team's struggles on offense, Myers was able to make 67 catches for 804 yards and touchdowns. Last offseason, Myers joined the Raiders on a three-year deal worth $33 million to reunite with McDaniels. Once again, he ran into some disappointing QB play, with Jimmy Garoppolo and Aiden O'Connell both struggling. That didn't stop him from posting his third consecutive season of more than 800 yards. He reached that mark with 71 catches and added a career-high eight touchdowns. He hasn't been as much of a lightning rod for trade rumors as his teammate, Devontae Adams, but he could be a good fit for the Steelers if the Raiders decided to trade him. The Steelers have an obvious need at wide receiver. George Pickens is expected to have another standout season in 2024 after making 63 catches for 1,140 yards last season. However, they don't have much to work with after him. The next receivers up on the depth chart behind him are Calvin Austin, Van Jefferson, and Quez Watkins. Last season, Austin had 180 receiving yards for the Steelers. Jefferson had 209 yards between stints with the Rams and Falcons. Watkins had 142 yards for the Eagles. None of them is a replacement for Johnson. Over the last two seasons, Johnson posted numbers similar to Myers. In 2022, he had 86 catches for 882 yards. Last season, those numbers dropped to 51 catches for 717 yards. They are also players who tend to succeed on shorter routes. Myers has averaged 12 yards per catch or less in each of the last three seasons. Johnson has done so in four of his five NFL seasons. If the Steelers could convince the Raiders to part with him, Myers would fit in well as a second option for whoever their starting quarterback ends up being. Seahawks' W.R. Tyler Lockett does not want traded. The Pittsburgh Steelers have a significant need at wide receiver, with three-fifths of the team's room from 2023 moving on, including starters Deontay Johnson and Allen Robinson II. The Steelers have done some bargain hunting, landing receivers Quez Watkins and Van Jefferson on one-year deals, but have not yet added a player that figures to be a starter this season, let alone two. 
The club has been heavily scouting players from the 2024 NFL draft at the position, but general manager Omar Khan and company have shown interest in more experienced options, as well. The Steelers had a meeting scheduled with free agent wide receiver Mike Williams before he signed with the New York Jets. They exchanged contract terms with Cincinnati Bengals free agent Tyler Boyd and kicked the tires on a potential trade with the San Francisco 49ers for Brandon Ayuk. So clearly, they have a high aim when it comes to additions at the position. But those talks have cooled. Williams is off the board. The Steelers and Boyd appear to be in a long-term standoff over terms, with one report saying the ship has sailed on a homecoming for the Clareton native and Pitt product. The 49ers have put their feet in the ground and said they're not trading Ayuk. It's clear the Steelers wanted to add a receiver before the draft, in addition to being interested in players in the draft. So with the draft just two weeks away and that pre-draft addition looking unlikely, what will they do instead? Well, they can still add a player after the draft, but the available pool of talent won't be expected to grow by much. There may be some players released or available for trade later in the offseason, but that's a long wait and not a sure thing. At the wide receiver position, one name came to mind with an obvious connection to the Steelers, Seattle Seahawks wide receiver Tyler Lockett. Lockett has been with Seattle since 2015, meaning that he spent seven seasons playing with new Steelers quarterback Russell Wilson. Lockett has been a three-time All-Pro as a return man and has been one of the most consistently productive receivers in the league over the last six seasons. But Lockett does not want to be traded, he told Seattle media last week. Seattle is home, Lockett said. Obviously it's a business, and so you've got to kind of look and see what is good for them, you see what's good for yourself, as well. And with everything that I had a chance to be able to do and become, it's really cool that you hear that the staff wants you to be on the team, as well. I, try not to get too much into the contract, because I'm still kind of in a blessed situation. So everybody kind of talks about the contract or talks about the money or say it's a pay cut or whatever it is, but it's enough for us to still be here. It's enough for them to still want me Lockett just restructured his deal with the Seahawks this offseason, which would make a pre-June 1 trade costly to Seattle. If they traded Lockett now, that would incur a $27.8 million dead cap hit and cost the Seahawks an additional $8.9 million in cap space on top of what is slated to cost. But if they waited until after June 1, a Lockett trade would only have a $13.9 million dead cap hit this season, while saving Seattle's cap in 2024 $5 million in room. Lockett would be a bargain to the Steelers, with just $4.67 million in guaranteed salary and $340,000 in roster bonuses. Still, it certainly does not look like the Seahawks will be moving Lockett anytime soon, but Goect could have made sense if there was some movement there. The Steelers' inactivity at the wide receiver position, despite showing repeated interest, has been puzzling. It was reported last Wednesday by Jason La Canfora that the Steelers are still searching for a trade at wide receiver. Their interest in a player like Lockett, who would be traded later, makes sense. But if the bigger fish are coming, it seems someone like Brandon Ayuk or Cortland Sutton makes sense. 49ers making Brandon Ayuk trade difficult for Steelers the Pittsburgh Steelers are serious about acquiring a veteran wide receiver for Russell Wilson to throw to and George Pickens to work with. To this point, Brandon Ayuk has been the name to watch, but NFL Network's Ian Rappaport says things aren't going as smoothly as believed. Speaking on NFL Total Access, Rappaport said the San Francisco 49ers have received multiple phone calls about an Ayuk trade, but to this point, none have been entertained. Now, as far as the trade request, I would agree with his agent. There has been no trade request, Rappaport said. Obviously there have been some teams though who know that all is not well and know that he wants a contract extension. Some receiver-needy teams have acquired over the last several months to see if he could be available. To my knowledge, the 49ers have not entertained any of those talks. 
According to team sources, the Steelers have engaged in talks for Ayak and continue to be confident they have a shot at landing him. They may have to wait until the 49ers give up on a contract extension before making it happen now that the team remains firm with their position. Ayak is coming off back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons and is only costing any team $14 million this year. He'll be looking for a contract extension worth roughly $30 million per season, making his future with any team, including the Steelers, questionable. Still, Pittsburgh would like to add a reliable name to their offense before the offseason is over. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Brandon Ayuk? Leave your opinion in the comments.